Hey Life Church, I'm here with Anthony and Elizabeth Warlick with the Joseph Warlick Memorial Foundation. Uh, we're talking to them about what that is and what they're doing. Um, guys, if you just want to tell us a little bit about why you started this foundation, what was the spark uh, that started this whole thing for you guys? The spark was our son Joseph and Joseph is an identical twin and he passed away on March 7th of 2020. Um, Joseph was born with um, prematurity and birth defects and he overcame so much in his life to become a top student, top athlete, disciple of Christ, um, gospel focused, missionary to Ecuador. and. Um, had special needs himself, had ADD and some sensory processing that he just, you know, worked hard on and we just prayed through with him. And after he passed away, we knew that it was our gift to give his testimony to others and to spread um, his love and vigor for life and the gospel to those the less than. The week Joseph passed away, his sister Jane Elizabeth and his brother Jonathan, we said, what do we want to do? with the, and it came up that we wanted to further the ability to play soccer in the Upper Cumberlands to everybody. And we, out of that birth, the Joseph Warlick Memorial Foundation. First and foremost, and in, in what we've already been able to start is a top soccer program. It's a program for those kids with um, physical or mental disabilities. Um, and we had our first season finished up a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We had 28, um, 28 kids. Wow is our initial yeah. um, session high. and hopefully many, many more to, to come for the fall season. We also want to further that and say that we want to be able to build an indoor soccer facility um, to be able to house that. So we're not dealing with grass and mud, especially with wheelchair athletes. Um, we mm -hmm. can get a surface that they can go on. They can be on no matter if it's raining, if it's snowing, if it's sunshine, it doesn't matter. Um, I, I did read a little bit about this and the thing that they kept saying was just all in, all in, all in. Tell us a little bit about just where that phrase, where that resonates for you, where that came from with you guys. Joseph, but ultimately his brother said he was the all in for the gospel. Unashamedly, unapologetically, out of the week of his passing away and going to heaven, one of the coaches in Cookville um, said all in forever 11 and had little 11s made and it just captured who he was, that he was all in. And so out of that came all in forever 11. That's awesome. Well, I think, you know, Jesus' desire for us is to be all in and to see what you guys have done, you know, through this pain, to take that and use it as a, as a resource. Um, we have something here we call the Dollar Club. And what we do is every month, we ask every member of our church to just give a dollar more than they normally would. And we partner with different organizations, different people that we believe in are doing and believe they're doing kingdom work. And so you guys are our Dollar Club recipient um, for this month. And we have a check for $5,000 for the Joseph Warlick Memorial Foundation. Thank you. And, um, you know, we're honored and humbled. We're humbled that we were given Joseph to parent and point to the Lord. And we're, uh, the, we tell people, no one wants to experience the tragedy that our family and the trauma that came with Joseph's death. But I wish everybody could experience the body of Christ like we've experienced it. And um, it's encouraging and I wouldn't change a thing. And we're, we're so thankful for what you're doing and we wanna partner with you to help reach that mission, to help make that happen for you guys. You didn't tell me that was going to happen. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs>